which of these statement is correct some questions we are taking so tell me which of these statement is correct state whether the following statement are true or false so which statement is correct for any binary operation on set of natural number a star a is equal to a a star a is equal to a is this statement correct for any binary operation on set of natural number a star a is equal to a is this statement correct this statement is definitely false right so this this statement is false what is the counter example anyone want to give a counter example so for this count this counter example you can take set of natural number comma addition you can take you can take set of natural number for example what is 2 plus what is 2 plus 2 this is not same as 2 so this example you can take right so what about the second one if star a binary operation is commutative if this is commutative then this will happen from the commutative property can i say this will happen a star can be anything a star means binary operation a star is binary operation so you can notice the first statement is false this counter example will work okay this counter example will work for the first statement so first statement is false so this first statement is definitely false what about the second statement the second statement is saying that if this is some operation this is a some operation i don't know which operation this is some binary operation any binary operation and if a star is commutative if a star is commutative then then this will happen a star b star c is equal to c star b star a is this true yes this is true the second statement is actually true okay why this is true because see if a star is commutative then what this means because this star it is given as commutative this is already given as commutative so it means a star b star c i can write it as i can write it as a star c star b because commutative because of commutative property i can write like this and because of commutative property i can write like this i can write on lhs so because of commutative property i can write like this so this second statement is correct okay so first statement is false second statement is true okay so just semi group we have seen monoid we have seen all these things we have seen and let me tell you one definition this definition what is order of algebraic structure what is order of any algebraic structure what is order of any structure so this term order order of any structure what is that that is simply cardinality of the base set very simple this simply means cardinality of base set okay so the cardinality of the base set that is called order of any structure whatever structure you take the order will be cardinality of the base set so when can i say finite structure when can i say that some structure is finite finite structure finite structure means base set is finite it simply means base set is finite okay and base set can never be empty this can never be empty so finite structure basically means that you have a uh, cardinality okay order basically means order basically means cardinality of the base set so if your base set is this for example let's assume that your base set is this true comma false okay this is your base set then tell me uh, like this is structure you have then tell me what is the order this is the structure then what is the order of this structure this is structure you have then the order what is the order the order will be 2 the order basically means the number of elements in the base set or i can say cardinality of the base set so for this structure order will be 2 very simple this is the question give a semi group which is not monoid give a semi group without identity element means a semi group but not monoid 
semi group but not means which is associative it should be associative but it should not be uh, identity element should not be there so i can say set of natural number comma plus very good this example will work what else see this example will also work like a star b is equal to min of a comma b will it work will this example will work a n comma a star a star b is equal to min of a comma b so you can notice is there any identity element here do we have identity element is one the identity element no one is not the identity element here one is not the identity element there is no identity element here okay you, we don't have any identity element here this is closed you can notice this is closed and you can notice this is associative also so this example will also work okay these two examples will work next so you can notice is a semi group next next question how many you have a set with exactly one element then how many binary operation you can define okay this is interesting question so you have let's assume you have a set and how many binary operations you can define your cardinality is one then how many binary operations we can define how many different binary operations we can define how many different binary operation we can define see just understand the definition here the question is asking number of binary operations number of different binary operations the question is asking so you have set in set the cardinality of set is only one so for example let's assume your set is this okay let's assume this is your set now how many different binary operations you can define remember a binary operation what is a binary operation tell me first just understand the definition of binary operation what is a binary operation what is the definition of binary this is a binary operation and what this means the definition of binary operation is simply a mapping remember binary operation is a mapping is a function binary operation is a function okay so this binary operation this is basically a function from s cross s to s this binary operation is a function so if i ask you number of binary operation this simply means is same as number of functions how many functions are there agree so if you have this set for example your set is only one like this is your set then how many binary operation i can define very simple very simple what a cross a will be just tell me a cross a what is what is the only possibility the only possibility is a what will be a star a the only thing that you can do is a so this will be equal to a nothing else you can do you can not do anything else so only one binary operation is possible agree only one binary operation possible right nothing else you can do a star a will be equal to a so that's it nothing else you can do so this is the idea so remember binary operation if i ask you number of binary operation then that is same as number of functions is it clear okay so if you have set comma star then number of then number of binary operations number of binary operations this so this number of binary operation is same as what is same as number of functions is same as number of functions from s cross s to s and from s cross s to s how many functions are there how many functions are there from s cross s to s star from s cross s to s so what is the number of functions what will be the number of functions or number of functions means number of operations number of functions basically means number of binary operations so how many binary operations you can define so that will be simply okay so that will be cardinality of codomain that will be cardinality of s 
power cardinality of s cross s this will be the answer we have already seen number of functions in the function chapter so the answer will be cardinality of s power cardinality of s cross s this will be the answer so now tell me the answer for all of them how many different uh, binary operations exactly three element exactly n element so let's see if you have n element then what that will be so now you can very easily see now you can say if if s cardinality is 1 then number of binary operations will be that will be only one if s cardinality is 2 then number of binary operation will be 2 power s the cardinality of s cross s the cardinality of s cross s so that will be 2 power 2 okay so it will be 16 if cardinality of s is uh, 3 is n then what will be the number of operations so that will be n is n power n square this will be n power n square okay is this clear how many commutative binary operations will be there if the question is how many commutative binary operations will be there so you have this okay and the cardinality of the base set is n how many commutative binary operations will be there commutative binary operations the number of commutative binary operations what that will be if i ask you let's check this with this one as a equal to b with this let's check it out commutative binary operations so what will happen here it will not be half it will not be half a comma b b comma a notice that notice that you are you have a commutative right your your uh, i can say because we are finding this is commutative right this is commutative because this is commutative so these two will go to the same element for these two how many choices i have for these two combined for this combination how many choices i have two choices for this combination only two choices correct for this combination only two choices either they can go to a or they can go to b so for this combination only two choices for this combination either both of them can go to a or both of them can go to b only two choices for this combination okay for this how many choices for this also two choices and for this also two choices so finally how many binary operations are there so what is the number of commutative binary operations what that is 2 into 2 into 2 that is 8 2 into 2 into 2 that is 8 okay let's check for n elements what will happen if you have n elements then what will happen if your set cardinality is n then this will happen see these n elements like a a like these ele n elements these type of elements for all of them these type of elements like 1 comma 1 2 comma 2 okay so these type of elements if you notice for all of them each of them we have n choices for each of them we have n choices right for each of them we have n choices and for the remaining for the remaining what will happen remaining how many pairs are there remaining how many pairs are there so for half of them we have two two choices so okay for each of them we have n choices and for the remaining if you notice for example 1 comma 2 comma 2 comma 1 for them we have n choices for this combination we have n choices remember yes or no for this combination we have n choices like this so i can finally say that so from here we will get n power n from here uh, we are going to get n power n multiplied by this because n into n into n into n so that will be n power n and how many pairs we have here so that will be yes that will be n n square minus n n square minus n but half of them half of them has two choices so uh, sorry half of them have n choices so n square power n square minus n divided by 2 
now you just multiply them then this will be n power n n power n square minus n divided by 2 what it will become it will become n power n plus n square minus n by 2 so it will become 2 2n plus n square minus n and that will become what 2 power n square plus n by 2 this will be your final answer did you understand this tell me see okay let me just explain let me just explain total how many elements you have if your if your set cardinality is n so you have a set in which the elements total n elements you have total n elements you have okay so tell me how many total pairs we have what is the what is the cardinality of s cross s I mean what is the total number of pairs what is the total number of pairs number of pairs that will be n square right how many pairs you can create like 1 comma 1 like 1 comma 2 and so on 2 comma 1 2 comma 2 and so on how many pairs you can create n square pairs you can create right agree this is clear so total n square pairs are there total n square pairs we have from these n is n square pairs how many these pairs we have 1 comma 1 2 comma 2 3 comma 3 and so on n comma n how many these pairs we have so total n such pairs we have so okay so total n such pairs we have what are the remaining pairs the remaining pairs are like this 1 comma 2 1 comma 3 and so on 2 comma 1 2 comma 3 and so on so how many pairs we are remaining the remaining pairs that will be n square minus 1 n pairs. Okay, right. So these n pairs, they have same elements. And these are the remaining n square minus n pairs. Now you can notice for each of them, we have n choices. Here, each of them has n choices. So this has n choices. This 1 comma 1, remember, this 1 comma 1, this pair, this pair can go to any of them, 1, 2, 3 and so on. So for this 1 comma 1, we have total n choices. Because this can go to 1, this can go to 2, this can go to 3, this can go to n. So for this pair, we have n choices. Similarly, for this pair also, we have n choices. So for each of them, we have n n choices. And what about them? Now here you can notice that for this and this together, for this and this together, we have n choices. Similarly, similarly, for this and this together, we have n choices, 3 comma 1. Similarly, I can say for this and this together, we have n choices. Because we are finding commutative. Remember, we are finding the commutative binary operations. Okay, so you can notice here. So this is, idea is very simple. You just have to just check it. 2 comma 1. For this combination, for this complete combination, there are n choices. Because, see, we are finding commutative binary operation. So, if this will go to 2, then this will also go to 2. So, they will go to together. Wherever they will go, they will go together. They will always go together. So, for them, we have n choices. So, finally, answer is n power n this is because of a comma a type of pairs this type of pairs right this is this type of pairs and multiplied by n power n square minus n by 2 this is because of whom this is because of a comma b type of pairs where a is not equal to b so finally if you calculate then it will be n square plus n by 2 okay so this will be the final answer. This is the number of commutative binary operations. This is the number of how many commutative binary operations you can create. Okay.